Thank you for tuning in to our fun giveaway show. This week, we will be showcasing a beautiful card by Cynthia Massey and a stunning male freebie theme card supplied by exclusive designer Atlix Nazana. Firstly, let me show you this gorgeous card by Cynthia. It's a single sheet design called Nails, one thing you can get into shape without exercise and it costs just 90p. The cup number is cup 980945 underscore 3367 and the matching insert cup number is cup 980947 underscore 3367. This really is an amazing card. Cynthia has mounted the main topper onto a white card. She's used a Martha Stewart punch around the edge, just there, as you can see. She's decoupaged uh, the flowers, just there, look, and the nail polish uh, bottles, there with foam pads too, added glossy accents onto the bottles and also the fingernails there added a few embossed leaves around the rows there, three false nails, some scissors, and a little miniature bottle of varnish. It's the attention to detail that makes this card stand out. Cynthia has also threaded, as you can see there, yellow ribbon around the borders. She's finished off at the top with ribbon and lace. And to complete the whole look, She's put a little jewel in the middle there. It is absolutely gorgeous. This is my favourite. Lots of my friends get their nails done and this would be the perfect birthday card for them. Again, thank you very much, Cynthia. Now, before I show you this week's freebie, I'm going to show you a short tutorial on why it's safe to shop at Craft Shoe Print. Enjoy! Okay crafters, it's freebie time! This week's freebie has been supplied by Atlix Snazana. Atlix sorry, sells exclusively on Craft Shoe Print and is one of our top designers. Atlix creates all of her own artwork and has over 1,500 designs on cup. Don't forget to visit Atlix's homepage and click on the follow button to be the first to see all her latest designs. The cup number for this week's giveaway is cup 669715 underscore 1641 and is called Mail Card Mini Kit. This four sheet kit makes a lovely mail themed card for all occasions. The kit comes with an insert, as you can see there. Um, it's got a card front just here. Um, we've got captions, large and small there, uh, and a decoupage sheet. But wait till I, s I show you the finished card. What a beautiful, beautiful card this is. Look at the little clock stud there. Look, it's got matching bow in ribbon. It's got a little ink nib there, little pen nib some glasses, just the, the detail. I love the little red jewels look. They're all strategically placed around the clock. The clock face, it just looks absolutely brilliant. Absolutely stunning. And Marie is going to show you how to make this week's freebie. Over to you, Anne-Marie. 
Hi everyone, my name is Anne-Marie and I'd like to welcome you to this episode of Cook TV brought to you by Craft Shoe Print from www.craftshoeprint.com Now in this episode we're going to be looking at a mini kit from Snazana Designs and the cup number is cup 669715 underscore 1641 and this is called the Mail Card Mini Kit. You get four sheets in the actual kit. And if we can take a look at the sheets, one of the first sheets, I should say, is um, the base image and design for your card. And then you've got two smaller designs. Now I'm going to show you two different ways to use these. The next sheet is the decoupage to build up the actual card front. The next sheet is an alternative card front or an insert with extra designs and sentiments. And then the last sheet again is an alternative optional insert with extra sentiments. So those are your four sheets that you get in the mini kit. So I'll just put those to one side. Now I'm going to start with a base card that's an 8x8 eight eight square card and this is just a white standard card. Now on the back of the card I'm going to take one of the smaller images and I've actually changed the sentiment on it and taken one of the other sentiments and I've put best father on it. I've got double sided tape on the back and I'm just going to add this just to the back like that and then you can add your own handmade by yours truly etc underneath next we're going to make the insert now I've opted to take the city scene as the insert you could take either the city scene or the optional extra for the front as well so I've chosen this one and I've got double sided tape on the back of it. Now this is a gorgeous, gorgeous kit for gentlemen out there because I know sometimes we struggle to make guys something and with all the optional sentiments it will cover so many different occasions. So there's our insert in the card. There's a nice amount of room to be able to write on. And if you don't write on it, write on the back. It's just such a gorgeous design. So now we can turn our attention to the front of the card. Now I've taken the base image that has the watch and the spectacles, etc. on it. And I've left the sentiment as happy birthday. So I've got double sided tape on the back. And this is just flat tape because I'd like the base image to be flat on the card. So this is printed off on Crafty Bob's paper uh, with the print service that Craft Shoe Print offer. Great quality and you'll be able to see the gorgeous sheen that the print gives. So I'm just adding the base image to the card. Now I can build up the decoupage. So I'm going to start off with the watch. Um, isn't that just spectacular? So I've cut out the watch and I've cut out the extra areas on it and added 3D foam on the back. So I'm just going to place this over the previous image for any new crafters. Decoupage is just building up a series of layers on an image. Now our next layer is the watch face. Again, 3D foam on the back. Now if you're a new crafter, I know I've mentioned it before, you might want to number the layers after you've cut them out. Just put a number on the back so that you know which is going to be layer 1, layer 2 etc. And I've also got two pieces of the um, watch strap. Now you can see I've written on one of them because I wanted to know which was going to be which. So I've got 3D foam on the back of them and it's going to fit perfectly over the design and then I can build up the design at the side I've actually got the little envelope, the airmail envelope 
3D foam on the back and then I've got the pen that I can add over the image like so the spectacles there we go add those and that is our card front finished it is just such a gorgeous design you can see the sheen of the print there actually that's a good angle you can see the layers we've built up and great for so many different occasions now what I've done is with the extra images included one of the extra images we've used on the back of the card and I've also made a tag I've just punched a hole in the top of the image and added a ribbon and then taken one of the sentiments and added that on 3D foam. So that's a nice tag to go with your gift wrap present. Oh, if you can imagine a nice dark paper and that with it, it's going to all look so professional. Now I just want to show you one extra idea as well because there was actually an extra sheet in the kit. Now how about to finish off your actual gift and card to perfection, take an envelope, take the extra um, sheet that there was, add your flat tape on the back, and when I say flat tape I mean double sided tape, or whichever glue you know you prefer, add the image to the front of an envelope, and then you can take one of the sentiments or the blank one now I've written this out as Happy Father's Day I know the card is Happy Birthday but I've just written this out as Happy Father's Day so you'll be able to add your own sentiment so if you're giving it to your father you can just hand deliver it or if you're going to pop it in the post you might want to just write his name and address etc on the front of the envelope but you see how that just matches perfectly to the actual card so I just want to remind you of the item number it's a Snazana Designs and it's cup 669 715 underscore 1641 so I do hope you've enjoyed watching and it just remains for me to say thanks for watching and I shall see you next time Crafters, we are so lucky to have so many talented designers here on Crafts You Print. Make sure you tell all your crafting friends all about our free weekly giveaway. That's all from me this week, Crafters. I will be back next week with another fun packed show. A big thank you to Cynthia for sending in that lovely nail birthday card and thank you to you at Lick for supplying this week's freebie. Don't forget to click on Crafty Bob in the corner and share, share, share. And remember, sharing is caring. Bye!